Motives, messages. How you doing? I'm doing blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. And in today's video, we're going to be going over how the enemy himself is inside your ears. You don't even realize, but most of the music artists that you listen to, most of the music artists that you look up to are actually being controlled and deceived by the enemy himself. Because you see, these people have sold their soul so that they can actually make this music, but you don't even realize the meaning behind this music. You see, music is just frequencies, and there are so many people out there millions upon millions of people that are listening to these artists to these demonic artists thus this frequency of theirs is actually being lowered their frequencies of their mind is being lowered by this low vibrational music and you see this is exactly what the enemy is trying to do he's trying to lower your vibration lower your frequency so that you don't actually see the truth but how do you expect to be a person that produces good fruit if you're constantly letting the enemy plant bad seeds within your mind you see the more area the more time the more chances you give him to grow the deeper his roots will go and it's going to be harder to pull out those roots because you're constantly listening to this music and you cannot be a bad tree and produce good fruit that's why you got to be a good tree so that you don't produce bad fruit now for example i have person a and person b you see person a listens to music talking about drugs gang violence and money and person b listens to music talking about how he's blessed highly favored and in the presence of god which do you think is going to have a better mindset which person do you think is going to have a positive and better outlook in life person a or person b obviously person b you see i've been with certain people and at certain times their mental state wasn't the best but i knew why their mental state was like this because they were blasting music and this music it had a cool beat to it but the lyrics it was talking about dealing with the devil it was talking about money gang violence and drugs and you see this is a huge role in why their mindset their mental state was so dog doo-doo because they were listening to this music and my boy this is essentially like affirmations you know how affirmations impact your mental state right obviously if you're going to listen to affirmations that talk about gang violence drugs and money obviously your mental state is going to be dog doo doo so my boy the next time you're listening to music actually take the time to double check it actually take the time to make sure that the songs you're listening to is not promoting a dark agenda behind it because you see the enemy is going to try to sugarcoat these songs with a cool beat but that doesn't mean you have to keep listening to it that doesn't mean that you have to succumb to it because you see the enemy is implanting his messages into your head with this type of music now let me give you guys a quick juicy wet watery example for example the other day i was listening to a hard style song in my playlist right now keep in mind i've heard this song hundreds of times but for some reason while listening to it this time i was really listening to it because as i was listening to it like it's literally called like judas hard style right and at the time like the hundreds of times beforehand i didn't know what this song actually meant because i wasn't really like building my relationship with god i wasn't really reading the bible so i just thought it was it sounded cool right like it had all these beats right so clearly it was a good song but i didn't actually realize the words the meaning of the song now i didn't even realize but this song was actually a remix of the original song called judas by lady gaga right and obviously if you're a christian you already know like judas what this guy betrayed jesus like he literally betrayed jesus for like 30 coins or 30 silver right so like most christians Christians, they can obviously they already see it like just by the title but you see i've been a lukewarm christian for so long like i was blind to this truth i didn't know what this meant i just thought oh it's a good song by a very popular artist so obviously it has to be good right like i was hearing these beats like even to the remix of this song i i thought it was good because oh it had it had good beats so obviously it's a good song but i didn't actually really listen to the song to the lyrics but as i'm listening to the song as i'm listening to these lyrics it literally says in the song that i'm in love with judas and that jesus is my virtue i'm like what the like that's kind of crazy like how are you going to be in love with someone that literally betrayed god's son right like he literally betrayed god's son for 30 silver that's like that's kind of crazy my boy i'm not gonna lie but then it gets even crazier because then in the song it literally says that judas is a demon i cling to i'm like yo what the like i'm like hold up hold up pause this song like even with the the cool beats overlaying this like lyric i heard this i was like yo 
what the like how am i listening to this like i i've listened to this song hundreds of times and i'm just hearing this message bro it's so sad that music like this is being promoted because just because it has a good beat a good ring to it means that it's a good song but you don't actually hear the message the lyrics behind it like i've listened to this song hundreds of times and i'm just realizing what it's saying and you see so many people are blind to this they're so blind like you don't even have to be a christian to realize the lyrics they're saying is crazy you just have to have some sort of actual knowledge of like the scripture of the bible and once you read that once you actually know what happened in the bible and you hear these lyrics you're like yo what the like this is crazy like how is this even a song how how does this song have millions of views and you see this is just one of millions of songs out there that are promoting this weird agenda this agenda by the enemy because there are a lot of songs out there nowadays that talk about money drugs gang violence you know hey 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 they talk about all that right and people think oh because it has a good beat it has a good ring to it i'ma listen to it but they don't even realize the seed that is being planted within their ears by the enemy because the enemy he is masking he is sugarcoating this like this song right with a cool beat but in reality, you don't even realize what your brain is hearing. You are literally hearing like the devil's schemes, what he's trying to actually implant into your brain. You don't hear that because it's it's being covered. It's being sugarcoated by this cool beat. So obviously you're going to say, oh, well, it has a good ring to it. So I'm going to just keep listening to it. But you don't even realize what is being said to you. Now, this is the perfect example I could provide for this explanation. You know, the Trojan horse, right? The big giant like wooden horse that was supposed to be offered to the city of troy think of it like that because you see the enemy is going to try to sugarcoat and make it seem like on the outside that it's a good thing it's an offering he's trying to give you but in reality it has these soldiers these enemies inside of it and this is exactly the way he is sugarcoating and promoting this music he's putting he's masking this like cool beat on it right so that you can listen to it but in reality the message within it is actually dark now most of the music i listen to now is actually just beats like there's no actual lyrics like obviously there are lyrics in some of them but i still listen to the lyrics just to make sure am i listening to something that is trying to like attack me trying to promote something against me or am i listening to something that is actually gonna raise my vibration e my boy you know how a healthy diet plays an essential role in your health because a strong body is a strong mind essentially the foods you consume is going to be absorbed your body is going to absorb anything you consume because your food actually affects your mood and you see this is the same exact thing with music because music is just food for your ears so if you're going to be feeding your ears with this low vibrational music this nasty music obviously your mindset your mental health is gonna be dog doo-doo and i don't know about y'all but as followers of christ we cannot be listening to the enemy you know what I'm saying start putting some holy fire into your playlist actually start putting songs of god rather songs that are promoting dog dark agendas like gang violence and hey 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 because at the end of the day you have to choose a side you cannot choose two masters you can only serve one so my boy it is up to you so anyways i hope you guys did enjoy today's video rebuke the kingdom of darkness and embrace the kingdom of righteousness stay blessed stay wealthy and remember to keep surpassing your limits and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.